All right, this is going to be a video, a video tutorial on how to defeat this simulator that I made for picking the Abboy Classic. And by extension, a real Abboy, at least in my opinion, is if you can beat the simulator, then you have the skills to pick a real Abboy. So the tool in the simulator here is based on a Yako Classic pick, which is available. You can you can you can you can buy this from a few places. Like Sparrows has one. It is very expensive, but it is also extremely well made and does its job perfectly so I guess by all argument it is worth the money Went also sells it if you which I think they're based in Germany uh, if you're poor you can make your own Abloy pick there's uh, these the resin bullet DIY kits you can get these these are pretty cheap there's a few tutorials on how to make your own Abloy picks um, I'll put all these links in the, in the description if you're interested in these but the way that these picks work is they have these two sets of markings here one for depth in this direction, and one for rotation in, in this direction. So the depth ones are for selecting which disc you're on, and then the rotation here is for rotating it to a specific location. So what you want to do to pick a classic is to go through the disc pack and search for discs that are binding, so you can rotate them somewhere else and, until they're no longer binding, and then eventually it'll open. So the way you check if a disc is binding is by trying to rotate it back and forth and watching how far it's able to rotate. So here you can see this first disc here is able to rotate completely freely, so it's not binding. I'm just going to leave it on zero and leave it alone. And then go up, up the discs and check for one that is binding. Okay, here we go. Six is binding. See how little, move, little room it has to move back and forth? So I'm going to release some tension and move it over to, say, a one. Just about. It's still binding. It's... Notice how it'll, it from 1, it only goes about up to 2, and then back, it only goes about halfway to 0. So let's move it over to 3 instead. Nope. How about 4? No. Okay, it's a 5. So notice how from 5, it's able to even go a little bit past 5, because it's hitting the rotation limiter here of the disc. And then it's almost able to go all the way back to 4. So that means it's not binding. 7 is binding. See how it only goes halfway up to 1? should go, like, almost all the way up to 1. So, there we go. Here's a, a disc in the middle that's not binding. This is a 2-cut, but it reaches almost all the way to 3 and almost all the way back to 1. So that's a 2. 8 is binding. Still binding. There we go. 8 is also a 2. 9 is not binding. Let's see how it, it goes almost up to 1 from 0. And this is the 10th disc here is actually just a spinner plate. We don't have to pick that. Okay, go back to the start, and we'll check all again. Not binding. Not binding. Here we go. 3 is binding. Move 3. Still binding. Still binding. Still binding. There we, there we go. 3 is a 5 cut. Get on 4. 4 is binding. Move 4. Still binding. There we go. 4 is a 4 cut. 5 is not binding. 6 is not binding. 7 is not binding. 8 is not binding. Okay, it's going to be 9. 9 is not fine either. Okay, I missed something. Good. 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 Okay, here we go. 2 is binding all the way over here. Let's move 2. Still binding, still binding. There we go. Let's check everything else. Three is good. Four is good. Five is binding now. Move five. Still binding. Still binding. Oh, there we go. Got the lock picked. Okay, I hope that little tutorial was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.